Hey y'all, it's Kim from Kim Dixon Creative and I'm coming today with a project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. I am bringing you a project that is using the January 2022 Stamp of the Month. I'm also using the die that goes with the Stamp of the Month. Um, it's called Macaron Pets. It is so cute. So I've decided that I'm going to make a mini slimline card with my stamp set. I'm going to cut this piece of accent opaque white cardstock down to uh, six by six and cut it and I will score it at three inches to give me a three by six folded um, mini slimline card. Just a little bit about the hop that we're doing. It is a hashtag driven hop. There are others in the hop. Um, the hashtag that you need to follow is hashtag um, N2S Macaron Pets. That's M-A-C-A-R-O-N Pets. Um, that hashtag is in my title as well as down in the description box below. Um, and here's a little note. There's a giveaway. So, make sure that you follow all of the channels that are in the hop. Um, just like I say, put that hashtag in the description in your search bar or click on the um, one in my description box and um, watch all of the videos, comment on all of the videos, subscribe to the channels that you aren't already subscribed to, and then come back and click on the raffle copter link that is in my description box below. And you will be entered for a $25 gift card to the Not Too Shabby Shop. Y'all, that's awesome. That is just, uh, it's awesome to have free money to spend at the Not Too Shabby Shop. Heck yeah, sign me up. But um, anyway, I would love it if you would follow all of us and uh, check out all of the um, projects that are in this particular hop. So back to my card, I am using a stencil that was in one of the Not Too Shabby Shop, Not Too Shabby Shop boxes of the month a few months ago. And this particular um, section of the stencil is just like paint swatches. Um, and I'm going to use some Kitsch Flamingo uh, Distress Oxide ink and just um, do a little ink blending on that stencil. I don't really care that it's absolutely perfect. There's part of that stencil that moves while I'm ink blending, but that's okay. I just really wanted a little bit of a pink background there right in the center of my card um, that will help to showcase these these adorable little um, stamp images that I'm going to use on my card um, and I'm going to use a little another little um, little tool to make it even cuter than it already will be um, and you'll see that coming up but um, I don't do heavy blending I just want a little bit of a glow back there um, for a place for my little stamped images to live. Now you see my little colored up images and y'all there's even a penguin macaron that I'm not showing in this particular video that is just it is just so cute. I just can't get over how cute this stamp set and die set. I, I, they're just precious. So anyway, I'm just going to place three of my little images across the front of my card. And I want that little unicorn right there in the front. And if any of you have followed me for any length of time, you know that I have a little unicorn loving granddaughter that is going to be over the moon about this card. And so now I've brought in a little action wobbler. I want my little um, unicorn macaron to um, have a little bit of extra something about her. And so I'm going to put that little action wobbler on the back of her. And the action wobbler that I have does have 
um, a sticky back, but I also know that if I give this card, especially to little Miss Ellie, that it is going to be, um, that little wobbler is going to get a workout. So I want to make sure that it um, really sticks well. So I'm putting some liquid glue on it as well. And as you can see, I'm having a little issue trying to get the second set of release paper off of that action wobbler. The first one popped right off, no problem. But I'm struggling with the other one. But I'll get it sooner or later. Get that little craft pick in there. I'll get it. I've never had an action wobbler whip me yet, and it's not going to start today. So uh, again, I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue black, uh, liquid glue back there on the back so that I know that it adheres well. And I'm going to adhere that little unicorn right in the center of my card, right in the center where that ink blending is. And I just, I mean, if I go no further, it's just too precious. But I do feel that my little unicorn needs some friends. So I'm going to use the little rabbit. I colored him up with some brown tones. I used all alcohol markers on this. Um, some were, um, most were Nuvo markers, but my pinks were actually um, uh, Copic markers. That's my first set of Copic markers. I'm so excited. Um, so everything in the world's got to be pink because those were the first ones I bought. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm going to put that little rabbit down there, and then my little mouse. I'm going to put my little mousy down there too. Um, and I have three little buds right across the front of my card, and look how that unicorn wiggles. I love it. So um, now I'm going to take one of the sentiments from the stamp set and stamp it on the inside of the card using the pink Kitsch Flamingo ink. And I'm just going to stamp that right there. I'm going to let it sit. I'm, not, I'm trying not to press too hard, but I want to make sure that that Distress ink really transfers. So there's my card. I just think it turned out so very cute. And I decided that I needed that penguin somewhere. So I'm going to put the penguin on the inside of my card. It's just too cute. So if you want this stamp and die set of the month, you can go to Not Too Shabby Shop and pick this up. I'll leave a link in the description box below. The stamp and die set release on the first day of every month. Um, and you can purchase it at that time, um, just one off, or the best way to do it is to go ahead and subscribe to the stamp and die set of the month. I'm going to leave a link below. If you want to subscribe, just make sure that you change in the drop down box on the website, change it to monthly so that they know that you want to receive this once a month. And as a bonus, as you get, um, when you subscribe to the uh, stamp and die set of the month, you get an 18% discount in the Not Too Shabby Shop for the rest of the month on anything other than the um, stamp and die of the month or the box of the month. So make sure that you go and do that because they're just absolutely precious. And just as a little plug, I'm not using it this month, but the box of the month, you need to subscribe to the box of the month too. The box of the month for January was stunning. So make sure you head on over to the shop and subscribe to the stamp and die of the month. And also subscribe, go ahead and subscribe to the box of the month as well, because it's totally worth it. Thanks again for stopping by. Don't forget um, that this is a hop. It's a hashtag driven hop. Follow the hashtags, comment on all of the videos, and then come back to my video and go down to the raffle copter link in my description box and enter to win that $25 gift card to the not too shabby shop. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.